Briley Boo, what is this over here? Uh, my trophy. What did you get your trophy for? Uh, most creative costume. Most creative costume at the neighborhood picnic for Halloween. All right, girls, what are we doing today? Daddy Donuts, that's right. We are going. No, we're not going to Dunkin' Donuts. We're going to Daddy Donuts. You actually want to go to Dunkin'? We're not doing Krispy Kreme either. We're gonna go to Donuts. The one, the, the lady, the sweet lady. We're gonna go there, okay? All right, and we're down, we're minus one kid. Kinsley is out because she is hanging out with a friend who doesn't like donuts. So, that's interesting. Yes, can you believe it? She doesn't like donuts. But we got a pink bear instead with us today filling in for Kinsley um, and I think the pink bear wants a chocolate English old English so yeah there we go ask your question again boo loudly when did I come up with daddy donuts I came up with daddy donuts when your sister Kinsley was a baby when she was a tiny baby and your mom would stay at home all week long with her and uh, would just need some time to sleep in because babies don't sleep that much and they wake up in the middle of the night. And so mommy just needed the time to take a rest and sleep in. And so I would sneak the baby, scoop her up, and I would sneak out of the house with her. And then that let mommy sleep from probably six to eight o'clock without any interruptions at all. And that's how we came up with Daddy Donuts. Because I would just go to the donut place and grab a coffee for your mom and head back. And by the time I got back, the iced coffee was perfect for her and Kinsley was ready to see mommy again. So that's how we came up with it. Pretty cool. And every time I would do it, there would be like an old couple sitting in the donut place and they would say, um, Harold here used to do this and um, his daughter still even after college come home and visit him and he takes him out for donuts and I thought that's something I want to do with my daughters yes I hope so I hope I do this for a very very long time with you guys <laughs> Probably got someone. He's probably got you. He's probably probably dressed fresh. Oh, he's on top. So Hadley, why do you like Bumpy Road so much? What reminds you of that? Um, the Bumpy Road that we always used to ride on. Yeah, in Iowa. Dirt road. We, yeah, the dirt road. In Iowa, we had a dirt road. It was a small section they hadn't finished yet, and been that way for years. It's kind of uh, near. The farming section or whatever but it was a way to get to our house and it was a shortcut and it was a dirt road though so mom never took her car on it but dad we went full out on it didn't we as safely as we could drive we would go on that thing and we would hit the holes and bumps and hills and it was kind of like a mini roller coaster so we fell in love with gravel roads we should be going here and like the 78 guys instead we're gonna go here heard it all they tell you they get you and they gotta be hot shot prodigies but you got something better I might have an apple fritter I'm not sure he probably can show the one he probably loves you but maybe not because you fall above all the most commanding most of the man on even on your plan that I got a ship and I know where I'm supposed to land it and I hope you don't have your round you fun away, you're the most amazing, most of them got game, come close to playing, but I know where you at, I'm the closest baby, and you been here alone, so you don't have a man, come through, I'll show you, Good morning. I can't do it, yeah. you got to understand, so. can you tell her which one you want? Sound. I should go walk it out. One time 
time for a guy to be tight Cause we about to go around and ride And going on tonight Fix your hips right through Girl, your hips right through Girl, just like you don't tell me Perfect fall weather for hoodies and hats. That is Saturday gear, hoodies and hats. Little nods this morning, of course. He got someone, he's probably got you. He's probably, probably dressed fresh, always on top of You probably been hurt the some. He's probably a doctor or wherever you at he comes you know that he's got to uh, but in here Hello everyone, it's Zach here, and I'm just a little saddened, you know, not as bad as the first episode of this season of Walking Dead, sad or horrified, but I just found out that a guy that I just started getting into, um, Casey Neistat, uh, he's a vlogger on YouTube, and uh, he was doing, I don't know, 18 months of every day doing a vlog and it kind of inspired me to do the same thing um, to try it out right now I know no one's watching mine but he's got five million subscribers um, but it was just a way to kind of shake things up for me but also um, all of his stuff was very inspiring uh, to me he's a good guy he likes to do the right thing um, I think why he's doing this is honorable um, in a sense he's definitely not out for the money uh, because he could continue to make these and continue to do it but um, I think uh, uh, it'll be interesting to see what he does next and he's got my full support I, I will say I'm a little saddened and and uh, uh, always look forward to the new vlog so I'll probably get more sleep now since I won't be binge watching that night but that's it well Casey thanks for the fun 18 months or two years of your life you shared with us and I hope to uh, see the new stuff that you put out all right headed to a party tonight um, a friends giving never been to a friends giving before so this is good excited about it. Meredith not feeling the best, so a little under the weather, so will not be joining, which uh, stinks because it would have been more fun to have her around as she got to meet some of the people I work with every day and some other people, so. Uh, but hope she gets better, and I'm just enjoying a little podcast on the way. Thought I'd stop and uh, give a little update here in the vlog. Mm -hmm. yeah. You probably got someone He's probably got you. He's probably, probably dressed fresh. Oh, he's on top of 